that everything you do in your life, going to work, counting your money, paying your bills, your budget, your retirement, from start to end, is about math. And we had to learn math. We didn't have an option. And I wanted to learn math because I wanted to be able to count my money. Kenneth every math revolution. No pencil, no paper, no calculator. We write it on your brain before you write it on your paper. How old do you have to be to be able to do algebra? Hi, I want to talk to you today about what we can do to help our children start to be able to be in pre-AP classes and AP classes. The way we got to do that, we got to start early. And you got to start with the Kenneth Everett Math Concept Book, concepts that have never been seen before. If you'd like to get this book, you first need to go to the website. The website is nopencilnopaper.com. Go to that website and we'll have a lot of testimonies, a lot of videos that you can view on what we're doing to make a difference with our children and their education when it comes to math. With the Kenneth Everett No Pencil, No Paper, No Approach, we can start teaching fourth graders and fifth graders Algebra One concepts. And parents, if you get involved, you yourself can start teaching your four-year-old, your five-year-old certain algebra concepts that's going to help them fall in love with math so that they can become the engineers and the scientists and the doctors and the lawyers and the entrepreneurs to own their own business. But it's going to be left up to you. It's left up to you and the church, the churches. The churches have got to get involved with the Kenneth Every Math Revolution. We'd love to come to your church. Do a program that can help your children in the church. Not only the, the children, but the adults. Anyone that's planning on going back to school, already in school, if they need to pass some developmental math classes. There's got to be a foundation that's built, and that foundation can be built with the Kenneth Everett Math Revolution. We can take and help you with that child by giving certain examples to your child on certain concepts. It will be easy for your child to write them on, your, on their brain. When they do this, they make you go the long way, OK? I'm thinking about test taking skills. I want you to be able to find the little term. Because if you find the middle term, then that's going to help you to develop test-taking skills. Now look how easy this is. Look. These are things. We write it on their brains before we write it on their paper. For them, they need to know that. They need to know that they can do some concepts in their brain which is going to help them improve their scores when it comes to SAT, ACT, because it's all timed. So if you don't start off getting your child prepared to be successful in math, it's going to be your fault because you have the ability now to come out to one of the Kenneth Everett math workshops and see how you yourself can get involved, how you can empower yourself to be able to help your child master some math concepts that are so difficult for teachers to teach because of the fact that we've got to start with a point. We've got to start with a point to make it easy. That's what we do. 90 many workshops can be done at your church, your school, all you need to do is get in touch with us at GITA at nopencilnopaper.com. Or you can go to the website, www.nopencilnopaper.com. Easy for you to remember. You don't even have to have a pencil or paper because we even write our website on your brain. But it's left up to you to have us out at your church to do a math workshop, a Kenneth Everett 90-minute math workshop that can empower your whole congregation. We're able to do this in front of 100, 1,000, 2,000. Your church is not too big. It's not too small. All we need is for you to take out the time to email us, to get in touch with us so we can make a difference at your church, with your children, so that everyone can have a successful life. You know, a lot of brothers riding around with 26 rims, 28, 36. See, some of those, some of those come from rental rims. Any of y'all know about rental rims? <laughs> <laughs> it's rental rims. So some of the brothers going around, you think they, they paying for them? No, they rent OK. So they come outside the next morning, and they rim down into they going to talk. Somebody, somebody stole their rim. No, they didn't. The man came back and picked him up. <laughs> so the rim, not the car didn't get repossessed. The rim got repossessed. Okay. So now here's the deal. So I want, to, I want to make this make sense to you.